Pierre Day from Oz. Oh, PA Day from Oz? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he just this dude that was a mathematician. I mean, born the first rank, you know what I'm saying? Really, bro? Yeah. Where was he born at? Oh, he was born in this weird city, dude. Bamon de la Mon. France. <laughs> that is weird. And yeah, bro. In August of 1601, he was born into a fairly wealthy family. I wish I grew up like that, dude. I would I, I wouldn't be wealthy. With his mother being the daughter of a parliamentary jurist. Even with all this hard work, my mom still managed time to marry and have three children. Although he did marry his mother's cousin. So <laughs> he gonna be Uncle Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. No, why would he do that? I don't know why he would do that, dude. <laughs> from my, even though he married his mother's cousin. I mean, this dude was still educated. That guy's gross. Man, from my, was an educated man. In his time at Toulouse, he learned top European language. I'm talking about top dog. Top dog. Like, yeah, top. <laughs> Dang, this dude did a lot. Man, did a lot, that ain't even all. He was well integrated to society too. <laughs> I also served time for the King's Councilship in Toulouse Parliament for 17 years, dude. That's a lot, man. So did this dude ever get to turn up? Unfortunately, no. I don't know how he did it, but that's where his investment in the mathematics came into play. It's always a but. Hurry up, I know it, dude. But, you remember that but, like I said again? Yeah. But because he had so much personal leisure time and had great resources surrounding him, he had time to study on his own, which is where his real achievements in the mathematics come into play. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, dude. So what has this dude did for us, bro? Man, you mean his contributions to mathematics? Yeah, man. Tell me a little about his contributions. Oh, Fermat is considered to be one of the founding fathers of analytic geometry, along with Rene Descartes. He's another friend. Yeah, he's a he's a French dude too as well. French guy. Yeah. So what was that about analytic geometry? Oh, analytic geometry is uh, basically an invention of geometry where points are defined as horizontal pairs. I don't have graph pretty much. They basically invented the graph. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Fermat is also a founding father of the probability theory. He invented this theory along with this dude named Blaise Pascal. 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 Yeah, Pascal. All right, you know how Thomas Edison invented the light? Yeah, man. Well, he wasn't the only one that made contributions to the light, so he can't take all the credit for it. From I did that as well. He had this theory of optics called the principle of least time. This principle pretty much has to do with the ray of light, reflection, and refraction. This dude wrote papers on calculus way before I was new. You told me a lot of fun facts about him, but you still haven't told me his main contribution to that. Man, I'm already ahead of you, bro. I got my girl Taryn right here. She gonna break me down the important facts about Fermat. Let me hear it. <laughs> Not only was Fermat known for his last theorem, but before any of that even happened, he had another theorem based on prime numbers, which basically says that if n is a whole number and p is a prime number, then n raised to the p power minus n is divisible by p. For example, if the prime number is 3 and the whole number is 5, then 5 cubed minus 5 is going to be divisible by 5. Dang, Silas. She done gave me more information than you had the whole entire video. Man, I told you. That's what I, that's what I left it for. I ain't done yet though, there's more. He also had his last theorem, which was based on the Pythagorean theorem, you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, Fermat says that any number bigger than that, you know, x cubed plus y cubed equals z cubed or anything bigger, um, it's impossible to separate that. To break that down, basically, he said that there's no whole number solutions for um, where the whole number can be greater than two. Hold up, hold up. Your, Cody, your boy Cody has something to lay down here. Alright. Uh, Fermat states that a positive prime number is any number greater than one, which has as its divisor only one and the number itself. But to me, I think Fermat was just full of. Man, hey, 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 hey! We are at a Baptist University, Cody. Calm down, man. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Anyways, Fermat was mistaken. Uh, just guessed and did not prove his idea. So to this day, we still have no idea whether any prime numbers are among Fermat's numbers. So how would Fermat define mathematics? Fermat would probably say that mathematics is an important part of life, though not the central meaning of life. 
we have to study mathematics because it determines so much of what happens in our life, such as football and soccer. You know what I'm saying? Two football and soccer athletes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah.